So and overhead, you guys feel another buffeting. Um, and uh, the the trees are kind of moving pretty is that, pretty that's rapidly. That's the third time that's happening. So is that... Can I do a nature check to see if that conforms to any habits of any dragons that we have encountered in Kozakura? Uh, yeah, roll a, uh, roll a nature check. 16. Um, so anything that flies mm-hmm. uh, typically is going to do it at the scale. It's hard to say because you don't have these tall of trees. Mm-hmm. And you've had some pretty powerful wind gusts from some of the storms as they've been rolling through, coming into the valleys. Mm-hmm. Um, it does seem rather odd instead of it being sustained. It's beat, 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 nothing. Right. Uh, Valkyr, I will take care of this. And Valkyr goes and starts on fire the tree all the way to the top to see what he can see at the top of the canopy. Okay, so uh, the tree's here about 120 uh, feet tall. Jesus. Uh, so these are like big ass it takes bastards. Takes a, a while to walk up because they're, you know, this is a what you perceive could possibly be a waygate into the Feywild, mm. uh, and so where this is considered a pretty holy site, uh, and so there's a lot of energy here. So he starts crawling up, um, and you hear whoosh, whoosh. And then, and then, and then, um, this huge geyser of flame sprays down on this brontosaurus as no. it reeks out in pain. And out of nowhere, this giant red dragon comes down and just starts feasting. Oh, on this cooked brontosaurus as <laughs> the area around here is just engulfed in flames. And so you guys are looking through, you know, that waving um, that you get out of uh, heat coming up off the ground. Uh, and it is just this blast of fire. You feel it come across you and... Some of these bodies that are up here close start to combust uh, as the area is starting to darken and, and catch fire. Hey, Morono-san, a barbecue back on menu! <laughs> <laughs> and Bronson goes, I told you lads to put on your dragon fighting pants! <laughs> Alright, so, um, Genji <laughs> has a fear of dragons. And, um, has a fear of lizards. Valker, both are paralyzed uh in fear based upon what has just descended down from the sky before valker gets paralyzed though he says in draconic i am valker (laughs) (laughs) and then freezes in fear (laughs) you see the head of the giant serpentine form of the dragon look up (laughs) it appears I've got even more of a meal to feast upon. And he casts another breath, um, shooting out. And (laughs) this whole area, a swath, let me get the temple out. Um, And so he's going back and forth, and you hear this. (laughs) You Hackenstone. If I catch you south of the Aldani Basin, I will add your bones to those of your sons that adorn my halls. And Bronson goes, I want to add my bone to your stupid ass, you big fuck! (laughs) (laughs) Did Will whip out a Nerf Dragon? No, DM will whip out a Nerf Dragon. Why are you talking shit to our DM? Stop it! Is that Dave? <laughs> no, nah, he's TPK'd him before, if I recall correctly. <laughs> yeah. Did Dave say that? Yeah. Well, of course he did. He's got to ruin it for us. He's yeah. not here. Yeah, that's okay. Valkyr's, the, the dragon's probably going to like swipe the tree as it flies off, and Valkyr's going to fall 120 feet. Dave, you're not here to make Valkyr useless, and he's still useless. <laughs> <laughs> what if we lure it into the fucking the gate, and then we cut our wrist into the blood toilet? Will it open the portal to... Well, I like this plan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Yotanagus, um, you 
have seen a cooked brontosaurus or a regular <laughs> brontosaurus become a cooked one uh, as if it was an easy bake oven on crack. Um, you were amazed at how quickly this dragon was able to guzzle um, you know, large portions to where like the quad in a single gulp. Um, you see roughly something about a quarter of that quad on that dinosaur's size sprinting with one arm towards it, yelling at the top of its lungs, the cherry in his pipe boiling red as almost uh, a metaphor for the rage that bubbles up. And he's you, like a train, there's smoke coming out of the top as he goes. You guys had heard Hugh. <laughs> oh, give him two. <laughs> you only That's have good. one at a time. Oh, you had heard Hugh talk about his party being consumed by this, and this is the first time you've heard reference that uh, his children were part of those that were taken. And you see the father on a peg leg and a regular leg with one arm and basically a cleaver in his hand with no regard to his own safety, sprinting as fast as he can at this giant beast. Yotin, what do you do? <laughs> Fuck. Uh, so seeing Hugh charging forward, um, Yotin's gonna sit back and be like, "Finally, uh, a challenge." <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! It's just looping. Oh no. <laughs> so you guys see uh, Yotin pull for a knife that isn't there. And as he reaches down and starts coming up, it's almost as if it's like that poor, uh, like 1980s special effects where they literally just draw a line and then put the other uh, film uh, on the back end so it'll only show from here up. And oh, yeah. it's like he's pulling this ice knife out of thin air. And as he goes back to throw this thing, you see the ice traveling and it encases his entire body as he's throwing. And so you think for this point that um, Yoten is made of ice, and for the next minute, you gain resistance to all damage. Oh, wow. Go wrestle them. <laughs> yeah. Run up and just grab him by the nostrils. Yeah. Does Ice Knife do something like disadvantage or something on his next attack or something like that? No. They're that's, chilled? That's frostbite. Frostbite, frost okay. Ray of Frost. Ray of Frost! Alright, draw a... Make it a good one. A good Make one. it a good one. Good one. Crit card, crit card, crit card. Did you get a drink too? I did not yet. We don't have a... a... Oh, we're out of the oh, Jeez! Yeah, so just just make it you whatever you want. Well no, like this is this is like fits the narrative perfect. <laughs> so you remember you know, growing up, seeing this hulking beast in front of you, some of the many challenges as you often would punch outside of your weight class, we'll call it, uh, and, and jump in the middle of everything. And your adrenaline is surging right now. You feel the weave as you go to tap into it, almost as like there's strings that are surrounding you and you're almost plucking at a string and some of them are thicker uh, than others. And the one for the ice, is a real fat one and you hit it and as you go to hit the reverberation off of this magical being blasts out and you're able to drink it in and so you feel rejuvenated and you regain a spell slot oh nice Ooh. that's a big deal and um roll a d6 <laughs> this is so good two so you get a free level two uh, spell to cast yeah. as this aura has surged through you. Uh, one of the most OP turns <laughs> <laughs> and that was I, it. Oh, I've ever shit. seen done just because you guys buy a lot of cool shit. <laughs> <laughs> you got the damage resistance to everything for a minute, and yeah. you got two spells. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah. yeah. Spend yeah. the Yotin hours. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Sir, the the Yotin first action in combat. We still haven't done anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are you dope. moving at all? Yes. I was gonna run towards the circle because I saw the sort of protective area, but uh, I'll be like, the rest of you take cover. Uh, I'm gonna wrestle this shit. And uh, <laughs> I'm gonna run towards him. Uh, 13. So, uh, <laughs> that face. a flaming 
searing piece of brisket is just <laughs> launched and clears over you guys as you guys, you know, do pretty much a squat for us of just popping down, popping up. And this goes shooting over and hits the tree that Valker is in, splitting it. And Valker falls. Of course he does. It was a 15 DC. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> As the tree comes, and I need Valker to roll 66 falling damage. Oh, no. Yeah, 60 feet up. Oh, actually, wait. Is. He can mitigate, like, Feather Fall. <clears throat> Can I cast that? That's a reaction, actually. As a reaction. You can. Yeah. So Zendala reaches out as uh, Valker is falling, and you're hearing her sweet melodic tone uh, almost humming out. Uh, and she sings out, and Valker slowly glides to the ground, landing right here. Uh, the brontosaurus at the... Uh, did I take that back? Where's that brontosaurus at? Uh-huh. You set it down on your own. Oh, here it is. Uh, brontosaurus is laying over here cooking at work, but you see the frozen tree limbs and leaves coming off still are uh, frozen and embroiled in what looks kind of like a greenish-white cloud as hailstone after hailstorm starts falling. You hear shattering and scattering of the... Uh, ice all across the ground, and let's see how much. Do- oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, Glass flicks her cloak back, and she says, "Come to me, you filthy fucking lizard." Oh, nice. Bronson disappears from vision, uh, and is now invisible. Ooh, what the fuck? This so I can just walk away. Well, that was uh, that was Indal's reaction to cast invisible. Ah, okay. Uh. Yeah, so I see myself turn invisible, right? So then I'll turn and run back to Zondala. Okay, use your movement. Oh, one, two, three, four, okay. five, six. I can get to there. Um, you see her just dropping down to a knee as um, as her reaction. She's casted uh, shield on herself. I'm going to... Um put my, uh, my free hand on uh, Hugh, and I'm uh, gonna do it in a circle and Leon T in the eyes and cast Cure, cure Wounds um, at level one. I mean... And Zendala yells, no! no! Why would you hold on to him? And um, Hugh makes an attack. Gotta kill the dragon somehow. <laughs> I don't think we're killing the dragon. Uh, first one hits, second one misses. All right, so Hugh takes multiple slashes and uh, is standing there with 13 hit points uh, as the dragon begins to laugh and you see him kind of rear his head back as he did before. He will see if he recharges his breath weapon. Okay. And he will first make uh, a bite attack at Hugh. Uh, the bite attack hits. With that, so he bites down on Hugh, and um, Hugh rends free, and he bites almost in the same spot where his old arm was. And you see him rip the wound back open as the ball joint of the shoulder that was still attached to him is ripped off. Um, you see a torrent of blood pour forth, um, and the dragon moves to then claw, and that's a natural 20. Um, so Hugh is scooped up by one of the claws, and you see Tender squeezing down, Hugh screaming and screaming and screaming until you hear nothing but almost like a Luno can crunching. Oh. 
Oh. And oh. he drops Hugh on the ground. Rears back for the breath weapon. And as you see fire uh, collecting within the inside, I gotta roll with the damage. 72 points of damage. Oh, I'm dead. But before oh. the flame hits, Zendala completes her casting and a green light shoots up from the circle. And that's where we'll pick up after our dinner break. <laughs>